If you want to talk about guitar players who have pushed the instrument to new feats in terms of innovation and creativity, you almost have to mention the guitar virtuoso, Ichika. Through a sensational use of audible storytelling, Ichika's guitar playing feels very much alive. The refreshing chords and beautiful voice phrasings are sure to leave you absolutely mesmerized. The Japanese musician gained the majority of his following through YouTube, posting short, original guitar clips with meme-like titles, and he also had a series where he created riffs and amusing but impractical guitar tunings. Ichika's unique approach to guitar playing has led to him becoming one of the largest instrumental guitarists in the world, and he is probably one of the biggest names among the modern guitar wave. If you're not familiar with the modern guitar era, I made a video talking about everything you need to know to bring you up to speed. So. Who is Achika? Achika Nito has been a musician his entire life, and his early introduction to musical instruments has definitely played a significant role in how he plays guitar today. While the exact time period Ichika has been playing a six-string guitar is a little lost in translation, in a 2020 interview with Sora the Troll, he stated that he had been playing guitar for five years. How long have you been playing guitar, by the way? Five? Yes. Five years? Yeah. Damn! Meaning that today, in 2022, he only has around seven to eight years of playing under his belt. And although Achika is most recognized for his otherworldly guitar playing, he played piano from a very young age and took up electric bass at 15 prior to even transitioning to guitar, which would make sense considering how rapidly his guitar playing has progressed. Just to put this into perspective, based on the numbers he's given us, it appears that Chica started playing electric guitar around the age of 20, and he is currently 28. This means that he has played guitar for a fraction of the time that larger names have, but he has achieved worldwide recognition within only a handful of years. As of today, he's been playing for about 8 years in total, but he was gaining recognition years ago while he had only been playing for roughly 3 years. That in itself says a great deal about his musical abilities. One of Chica's earliest appearances on the internet, and how I first discovered him was through the song Cloud Built, released by a short-lived guitar duo band Among the Sleep. Considering how many views Ichika receives across the videos he releases today, it's safe to say that this song was ahead of its time. A few months later, I stumbled across Ichika's new song at the time, A Bell Is Not A Bell, which happened to be his introduction to the internet as a solo artist. This song really immerses you in a world of fantasy with technical but super appealing voice phrasings and the clean crystal-like guitar tone really emphasizes the extraordinary techniques he applies to songwriting. I can't tell you how many hours I spent on his Instagram binging and analyzing how he was able to play the way he did. What's even crazier is that the majority of his songs don't have layers of instruments. They sound full and harmonious with minimal guitar tracks. Obviously, there's extended reverb and maybe some accents to carry out the rings of certain notes and chords, but my point is, his songs don't have layers of guitar tracks, which is the polar opposite of the production style that's associated with guitar instrumental music. The instrumental a cappella approach is more commonly used amongst acoustic guitarists like Alan Gogol and Marson. Just to name a few. But the attention to detail and note phrasing that is necessary to build a song full of emotion and imagination with a single instrument, and that instrument being a guitar, is pretty spectacular to say the least. In order to get that full immersive sound, you have to make sure you're covering the majority of frequency ranges to ensure your playing has depth. You have to make sure your riff has a good balance of bass and treble while also creating a melody that progresses throughout the song. You definitely have to write with intention, and a Chicanito does this wonderfully. In 2017, Ichika released his debut EP, Thorn, which featured A Bell Is Not A Bell, along with some of his most notable clips from his Instagram. Flowers was my favorite song from this project, and I vividly remember playing the song on repeat in my college dorm room, trying to understand and decipher everything that was going on. Ichika's 
Chica's passionate use of note velocity, accompanied by his exceptional tapping delivery, really displays his piano efficiency as he tackles the guitar in a similar fashion. While Achika states he listened to a lot of metal music growing up, apart from the speed and accuracy he has, his music shares very little resemblance to the shreddy, distorted guitars that make up metal music. I'd argue his music shares a closer tie to more classical pieces because of the harmonic relationship his hands share. His early playing style involved using his left hand to produce the chord melody and then using his right hand to tap out the lead parts. Also, he's not the only guitarist who utilizes this technique. Yvette Young from Covet makes use of this same method as it seems to be most prominent with guitarists who were introduced to piano in their early years. While Ichika is an artist who is from and resides in Japan, the majority of his fan base is actually located in the United States, which is likely due to the popularity of other large instrumental bands like Polyphia and Chan. His music is really unlike anything else, and his originality is definitely what got him where he is now. When you hear that beautiful guitar tone with perfect reverb and delay, you automatically know who the guitarist is. Not only is his guitar playing exceptional, but his creativity with certain techniques is seriously mind-boggling. While the foundation of Achika's playing style is easy to describe, actually playing it is a different story. And for those of you who aren't aware, Achika doesn't normally play in standard tuning. A write-up posted by Guitar World quoted Achika calling it ethereal tuning, which is an open D major 7 chord when strumming out all the strings. Personally, I don't play outside of a standard tuning, but it does seem like a tuning that may be worth trying out, especially if you want to easily build those dreamy, colorful chords. Today, Achika is both a solo artist as well as a guitarist for several bands, including the fusion instrumental group Ichikoro that dates back to 2018, and the Japanese pop band Dios, which formed in 2019. Achika is a guitarist with an easily recognizable sound, and since his beginning, he has expanded his playing style into genres like jazz and even guitar lo-fi which I personally find really engaging. He has even started to post clips of his progression on the harp, and it is clear that he has mastered that ethereal style that he is most known for. With the 2021 release of his signature guitar with Ibanez, the Itchy Tin, it is clear that there is a strong demand and appreciation for his music. In terms of media appearance, Achika is a bit more reserved in comparison to other guitarists who are blowing up right now, but that hasn't been an issue when it comes to him growing his exposure and fan base. As guitar-based instrumental music continues to expand and obtain larger audiences outside of just guitarists, I think we're going to see these artists become huge. And Achika's music has really stayed true to his own style, and within the next few years, I think people are really going to gravitate towards the more organic style of guitar playing as they grow tired of the overly produced instrumental music. But honestly, that's a topic for another day. If there's anything I missed or if there's something you guys would like to expand on, please be sure to comment down below in the comments. I read them all. But thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.